It is March 16th, 2023. I'm Eric Sapanik. I'm here with John Caro. This is the Gold Spot. Good morning, John. Good morning. Well, we have had quite the week. A little bit of action. Yeah, a little bit of action. So I think that we'll start off by saying, in my mind right now, what we're really watching is, to simplify it, we have printed far too much money, um, created a lot of inflation. Along with that inflation, we are trying to uh, counter that inflation by raising interest rates and being very aggressive about that, the most aggressive in my lifetime. Um, and then it's a falling knife at this point in time, and maybe you can elaborate on what happened next. What happens next is, from what I'm seeing, is more of the same. Uh, we're not learning from our past mistakes. The people who are, quote, in charge keep doing the same thing over and over, hoping for a different outcome. We all know that's the definition of insanity. We're starting to see the real cost of printing money out of thin air with no solid backing and rewarding incompetence in the banking industry. So I guess what you're telling me is that free money isn't free. There's always a cost at some end of it. There's never been a free lunch. Nobody will tell you that anymore. And what we're seeing is we're starting to pay the price. Okay, so uh, I think you can also tell us a little bit about what's going on with Credit Suisse and um, how they're now looking to get uh, not bailed out by government, but by another bank. Well, they are bailed out by government because it's the Swiss Central Bank that just this morning granted them a $50 billion line of credit as a reward for their mismanagement of their company. So this is spreading to not only you know the American banking se sector, but right. also to the European banking sector, which sounds a lot like what happened during 2008. And the, the central bankers have no plan our Federal Reserve is talking now where the rumors are they may or may not raise the rates next week. This morning, the European Central Bank raised the rate by 50 basis points. There's no coordination. Nobody's working together. Uh, the inmates are running the asylum. And I think that it's a very important to this so, so that like Jerome Powell and, and Janet Yellen both um, talking about doing things now that even they admit aren't favorable uh, when it comes to how that they're going to move forward with not only rates and, and money creation. Well, they're starting to realize and, and acknowledge that there are consequences to what they do and the consequences now conflict with each other. So if they do one thing, they cause a problem over here. If they do something over here, they have a, a reactive problem and they're really uh, you know, reaping the results of their bad decision making over the last 10 years. So how and when does this end? I don't know. It doesn't look like there's any plan. It's all reactive. It's one band-aid after another. And we're just going to have to ride it out. And I think, uh, as we know, hope is nothing more than wishful thinking. So And that leads to failure. Yep. So I think the one thing that we can agree on is this has been probably one of the busiest weeks we've had since uh, the COVID shutdowns. People who have not really been thinking about doing something, are acting now. They're not just sitting on the sidelines. It's gotten so bad that even the casual observer, you know, sees that freight train coming and they're getting out of the way. Comes down to once again, and I mean, we've talked about this before, uh, supply lines of actual physical metals. Um, I mean, getting tighter and tighter. Uh, we've been saying this for years now. Uh, because it's true. It, it is one of the first things that we feel um, as a company and as an industry is not just price movements, um, but uh, trouble getting the actual metals. So something that, you know, it is, it, it is something to keep in mind. If things get too catastrophic, um, you're not going to have a, a chance to actually react. So I think if you believe that, that you need protection or more protection than you already have, um, I, I don't think price is right now the biggest issue. I think it's availability. Protection and stability is what people are talking about every day now. All right. So like we say, don't, don't wait to buy your gold. Buy your gold and wait. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. John, thank you very much. And we'll see you next week on The Gold Spot.